guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Barry David, your Comsai Cutie. And guys, finally, we made it! Graduating na tayo dahil in this video, I'll be sharing the subjects I took no fourth year and of course, some tips on how to stay fresh like a freshie kahit senior na. Let's get started. subjects I took no previous years, syempre meron din ako niya. Nandito yung first year, second year, and third year subjects ko. The first subject I took was ethics. So in this course, we delve into topics such as understanding globalization and pluralism, exploring the challenges to ethical behavior in today's complex world, examining the role of religion in shaping ethical principles, and driving into social ethics and business ethics. So here, instead of just lectures, the professor namin, he would present us with uh, real-world cases and scenarios, and we had to apply what we'd learned para ma-answer namin yung best ethical course of action. So I passed this class with a mix of memorization, understanding of course of what I memorized, and common sense. Next up, I had a G elective class or Gen Ed elective class, which is critical thinking. So this subject was all about honing our logic and reasoning skills. Here, we discussed about propositions and explored various types of logical statements, including conditional statements, disjunctions, conjunctions, tautologies, and contradictions. But that's not all, guys. We also delved into uh, converses, inverses, and contrapositives. So if you want to know what type of questions ang lumalabas sa test namin when it comes to critical thinking, ayan, ito yung mga example ng questions sa exams namin. Next was CS Specialization 3 or Math Club class. So it felt like diving or learning a whole new programming language. So we started with uh, setting up new MATLAB and then getting familiar with the software. Then we were given technical exercises from basic calculations to utilizing MATLAB functions for trigonometry and matrices. And then, nagkaroon din kami ng advanced technical exercise like image processing. So, pina-image process kami pati spatial filtering. My advice would be if you know that you'll be taking a MATLAB class in your upcoming term, I highly recommend watching some basic tutorials in advance. Kasi honestly, akala ko this fourth year, parang hindi ko na kailangang matuto ng iba pang software, ganun. Parang apply-apply na lang ng mga natutunan ko for the past three years. Pero hindi, kailangan ko pa pala mag, uh, matuto ng bago mga software ulit. So, medyo overwhelming for me. It doesn't have to be overwhelming for you too. So, having a foundation, you know, that can make the learning curve much more manageable is good. Next topic I had was the exciting world of information assurance and security. So this subject examined the fundamentals of network security, focusing on creating and managing secure computer network environments. So sa subject na to, puro authentication methods, remote access, network security architectures, cryptographic techniques, digital forensics, and disaster recovery plans ng mga software. We even explored some advanced topics like steganography, the art of hiding information within other data, and data hashing. My tip for this subject would be to keep your curiosity alive and never stop learning in this field, especially if interested ka sa cybersecurity. Feeling ko ito yung mga day-to-day -day na gagawin or yung mga topics na covered sa field ng cybersecurity. One of the hardest subjects ng fourth year ko is number theory. At first, akala ko balik lang kami sa permutation, combination, mga prime numbers, but no. Kasi yun yung unang topic set. We delve into topics like linear congruence or systems of congruences, tapos yung mga least residues ng modulos, and even decryption techniques. Tapos, hindi lang mahirap yung exams, mahirap din yung technical exercises kasi it involved uh, Caesar ciphers, Euclidean algorithm, and then yun nga, yung mga permutation and combination, prime numbers, and elementary math. Kailangan namin i-program yung mga ganon. Like, for example, determine whether 121 is a prime number using the algorithm for testing whether an integer is prime or not. My last subject for first term is the CS project, which is yung thesis subject namin. So if you want to know my whole thesis journey, I have a video about it. Okay, let's go to second term. 
My first subject for second term was social issues and professional practice. So in this class, we delved into the ethical, legal, and social aspects of tech. So we discussed topics like professional ethics, illegal regulations, and the societal impact of technology. It's not gonna teach you like how to negotiate salaries, ganon, or how to get your first job. It's more on how to be a professional or how to act professional or ano yung mga dapat mong kaya code of ethics pang nasa tech industry ka na. Next on the list for second term is foreign language. So typically at FEU, Mandarin is the language of choice. But interestingly, sa FEU Alabang, we were introduced to Korean. So throughout the course, we learned the essentials of writing, listening, reading, and speaking in Korean. So for our finals sa Korean or foreign language, we were uh, required to sing a Korean song and record ourselves doing it. Pwede na akong, ano, K-pop Korean girl. And next in line, another Gen Ed elective, which was World Literature. So this course was filled with readings. So basa kami na basa dito. And in this class, we had the opportunity to engage in thoughtful discussions about the stories, poems, and articles na we were required to read. I found myself enjoying this class much more than I had anticipated. Kasi may mga group discussions din uh, what do you think of the character, ganyan, tas may reporting. Tapos madami rin ako natutunang iba't ibang authors and their works. Next was Life and Works of Rizal. Dito na chikahan kami about sa mga chicks ni Rizal, na joke lang. Pero this subject uh, wasn't just about discussing yung mga El Philly or Nolly. It's more on his entire life journey. And then here we also debunk some myths. Okay, yeah. Snapright namin yung facts from myths para mas maintindahan namin yung buhay ni Jose Rizal. Next up was CS Specialization 4, or Business Process for Computing, where we delve into the world of SAP. Now, sa SAP, yung technical exercises namin were divided into tasks. So, for example, yung technical exercise 1 has 10 tasks. And then, the second technical exercises namin is my seven tasks. So the challenge here, the sub subject namin, was that only our professor could verify if we completed each task correctly. Because parang may serialing or separate software or system yung professor pang check. So konyare, may instance na nasa task five na ako, thinking everything was good, na parang working lahat. Pero pagka pa check ko sa professor ko, mali pala yung task two ko. So, kailangan ko bumalik all the way to task 2 and do it all over again hanggang sa task 5. So, ang ginagawa ng iba, kada task, pumupunta sa professor namin. So, ayun, kanya-kanya strategy kung paano yung matatapos in time per technical exercise. Next subject I had was intelligent systems. Dito ko natutunan yung mga extra stuff ng Python. For example, yung pandas, yung numpy na nagamit namin sa thesis namin. Alongside that, Yung mga technical exercises namin sa intelligent systems was all about sentiment analysis, natural language processing, and data mining. Ang sayang lang sa subject ito for me, isa naman lang tinuro to or kasama to sa curriculum for third year. Kasi kung kailan pa tapos na kami sa thesis, tsaka namin kinuha yung intelligent systems. Ay, yung intelligent systems, perfect siya for those who are starting out pa lang sa thesis. Kasi marami kami encountering uh, ibang fields ng tech. My last subject for second term is again CS project, of course, yung thesis subject namin. So, and the third term naman, I embarked on my internship journey. Third term ko, wala lang akong subjects at all. So, sa FEU BSES curriculum, meron kami dalawang internship. Internship 1 and internship 2, tapos 520 hours each. So, ang total namin is dapat baka 1,040 hours kami sa buong internship namin. So again, tapos ako sa internship 1. Ngayon na sa internship 2 ako. But stay tuned because I have another video sharing to you guys my whole internship journey or experience. But what I can say now is ang internship namin, pwede kaming tumuloy sa company for 6 months. Or pwede kunyari, one company for internship 1 and then another company for internship 2. And then, meron kami tinatawag na industry partners. So, sa amin, meron lang kami listahan of companies kung saan kami pwede mag-internship. So, di kami pwede kung saan-saan. Basta nasa listahan or basta tinatawag siyang industry partner ng FEU. So, yan, may gusto kayo work ng company. Pero, hindi siya industry partner ng FEU. Kailangan as early as now or kailangan 
the term before your internship one, dapat inaasikaso nyo na yung memorandum of agreement between the company and FEU para ma-count na siya as industry partner. So those are my fourth year subjects. And for the next part of this video, of course, ang di mawala yung mga tips and realizations ko that helped me survive my last year of college. Itong fourth year na to yung time na bumalik na kami sa FTF classes. Finally, imagine I only got to experience first year and fourth year as F2F. And I just want to say, I had such a hard time adjusting back from online classes to F2F classes. I wasn't as studying hard as before. Nasanay ako hindi na masyado mag-aral kasi nung online classes. Dahil nung online classes, everything was within my reach lang sa desk ko. And then, ang daming digital notes lang. So, hindi na ako masyado nag-aral nung online classes. So, my level of studying hard or yung pag-grind or yung productivity ko was at an all-time low. It took a while para masanay ulit to learn effectively from taking notes, reviewers, and flashcards, and all that stuff. And itong fourth year ko, my grades were at the lowest too. But I think it's because this is took so much of my time and my brain to the point that as in sa dulo ng fourth year, gumagapang na lang ako. And then, ang stressful din ng preparation for internship. Okay, tama na check a minute. Ayun yung backstory ko, but here are my tips and realizations again this fourth year. Number one, remember that the thief of joy is comparison. If I could turn back time and start again as a senior, I'll focus more on my journey and progress. Kasi no matter how small your progress in, you'll still be ahead of those who aren't even trying. Additionally, consistency is key. So small, consistent efforts every day is better than doing nothing at all. So, kasi ang progress, kahit malaki sa isang day, tas malit sa isang day, nag-accumulate naman siya over time. Next realization is motivation is not always enough. You should combine it with discipline to stay on track as well as passion can change over time talaga. Hindi mo kailangan ma-feel bad kung last year, ito yung passion mo, tas this year, iba na. So, embrace change as long as it's for the betterment of your individuality. Wow, fuck! So, sa previous videos ko about subjects and tips, I always advise you guys to join communities and organizations. In this video, I'll be contradicting that. So, contrary to one of my favorite tips, it's essential to note na hindi to paramihan or it's not about quantity when it comes to joining organizations and communities. While it's incredibly fulfilling to serve as a student leader or officer and support others, remember to extend the same care and support to yourself first. So, alam ko yung feeling na nakaka-addict eh. Nakaka-addict maging student leader na magsiserve ka, magsishare ka, magsusupport ka. But, make sure na you're also doing it to yourself. You're serving yourself. You're supporting yourself. Alam mo yun, you're building yourself while building others. Find that balance where you prioritize self-care at hindi mo napapabayang pag-aaral mo without neglecting your contribution to others. Kasi masaya maging student leader pero grabe din yung workload niya. Another realization I had nung fourth year, kasi nung first year to third year, talagang grind talaga ako eh. Parang best ng best, 100% every day. Pero nung fourth year ko na-realize or na-understand that my best may look different each day and that's okay. So, dapat talaga hindi ka hard. Hindi ka too hard sa sarili mo. Don't be too hard on yourself, girl. Next tip or realization ko, which is di ko masyado na-emphasize sa mga videos ko and I wanna talk about it now since it's not talked about enough, is please invest in improving your communication skills. So work kasi, you'll be regularly interacting with teammates, supervisors, clients, and many, many more. So if meron kang magandang communication skills where you have the ability to articulate your contributions, yung impact na nagawa mo sa isang project, or even negotiating salaries kahit fresh grad ka pa lang, it can lead to a very good start sa tech career mo. Siyempre, hindi rin mawawala yung successful collaborations and of course, promotions pag nabo-voice out mo ng mabuti or effectively yung mga gusto mong sabihin. So again, communication skills can take you a long, long way in your career. My last tip na hindi nawawala ever sa kahit anong video ko is to listen to your body and take care of yourself. Especially this fourth year na sa amin sa FEU, sabay yung thesis pati internship. 
So yun, your well-being matters, guys. Please get some rest. Kau nanonood ngayon. Please get some rest. Eat your favorite snack. Drink your favorite drink. Sit, relax, and rest. So that's all for my fourth year subjects, tips, and realizations. As I close this chapter of my college life, I'm reminded that time does fly when you're immersed in something as meaningful as learning. Yung pursuit of knowledge, yung staying curious, or yung talagang interesado ka sa ginagawa mo. Because it feels like just yesterday, I was filming my first impression of Comsign video and first year subjects video. Kaya, thank you so much. Whether nagsimula ka with me four years ago or bago ka din sa channel na to, means a lot na sinasamahan nyo ako ever since first year ako. Tapos ngayon, gagraduate na ako. So, thank you guys so much for being here. If you have more topics you want me to talk about or videos that you want me to make, please comment it below or reach out to me on my Facebook page or anywhere on social media at Darla DVD. You are the reason I keep going at dahil dyan. I'll see you in my next video. Siyempre, maraming pang videos ang darating sa channel na to. So yeah, bye!